Hey guys, so I'm here tonight to just work on some uh, back control fundamentals, some pointers for you guys that might help you get more ride time when you're on the back. Ride time is essential in any position, hence the saying position before submission, right? In this case, we're on the back. So a few pointers I'm looking for to be able to maximize my ability to control Peter. The first thing here is what I'm doing with my hooks. Right? So I don't want my toes pointed away from me like ballerina toes. I want them in the boot and then I engage my hamstring. So now Peter goes to my right side. I turn my knee and dig my heel into the mat. That's how I kind of control him, creating a bit of a barrier or a fence against his ability to fall to his side. Right? The one thing he can do is come back and go to the side, and that's exactly what I'm looking to do because now I'm occupying the space under his armpits. Right? If he goes to the other side, I'm doing the same thing. I'm creating that barrier with my egg beaters. My toes are engaged. Okay. Next thing. With, so those are my hooks. Now with my harness, one of the things I'm looking for is I want my tricep or the back of my elbow in this space where my chest and shoulder meet, well, where Peter's chest and his shoulders meet, it's a nice little trough or ditch there, right? The reason why I want that is if I'm outside of the shoulder line and if we fall to either side, in this case, being the overhook side, it's easy for him to escape his shoulders and get his back to the mat. And at this point, back control is basically done for me, okay? But when I, block out that shoulder and control inside position, when we flop to the overhook side, right, he is on his, his side. It's much easier for me to control him, much harder for him to get his back to the mat. So this stays engaged. My underhook hand, right, it's just kind of monitoring what he's doing, okay? So if he's coming up to defend against here, right, I can monitor this hand. In most cases, I'll turn the palm out because that makes him have to push. When he pushes, it's much easier for me to catch his arm to choke. 